Insults, put downs, and name calling are something we normally associate with childhood bullying, something that takes place on the schoolyard playground or more often these days on the internet, on social media, you're fat, you're stupid, etc. Because insults can be so obvious, you would think that like physical violence and yelling, workplace bullies would not be able to get away with them. Workplace bullying is different from childhood bullying, not only in manner, but also in intent. There are laws against childhood bullying because it's so easy to define. There are no laws against workplace bullying. Workplace bullies, though they may be completely lacking in any sort of spiritual awareness, knowledge, or wisdom, and are completely unconscious, are not stupid. They will never do or say anything that can get them into trouble, that can get them fired or worse, arrested. And insults fall into that category. Workplace bullies are more subtle and their techniques can be open to subjective interpretation. So you can never call the bullies on their behavior. And yet, as with physical violence and yelling, workplace bullies manage to insult targets all the time. Don't get me wrong, if a company is small enough and the boss is a bully, overt name calling does take place without repercussions. More often I find workplace bullies get away with directly insulting the target if those bullies have connections to the higher ups who themselves are bullies. So the bullies have protection, so to speak, just like the mafia. Most often, however, as with all workplace bullying techniques, insults need to be as subtle as possible and delivered in a way that is indirect and passive aggressive again, so the bullies can never be called on their behavior. So insults most often resemble another workplace bullying technique, the technique of mind games. Mind games are the first workplace bullying technique that workplace bullies employ in the first phase of workplace bullying, the domination phase. In mind games, workplace bullies speak about some indeterminate third party, a friend, or just pronouns, someone he, she, they, or even in the first person about themselves. But the bullies are really speaking about the target and trying to send the target a derogatory message about the target. I have a friend who is so fat. I have a friend who is so stupid. These people are so fat. These people are so stupid. Or even, I'm so fat. Bad, I'm so stupid and that way the bullies can get away with indirectly insulting the target. Alternatively, workplace bullies indirectly insult targets with the use of complisults, insults disguised as compliments, often accompanied by another workplace bullying technique, a dirty look, and a tone meant to let the target know that this actually is not a compliment, it is an insult. I really like your hair, I really like your shirt, but the bully really doesn't. Finally, workplace bullies actually do directly insult targets with the use of one of my personal favorite techniques, something that I call muttering under the breath. Like a lot of workplace bullying, this needs to be done in groups. Workplace bullies are fundamentally weak cowards at heart and can almost never act alone. The workplace bully will mutter an insult about the target just out of earshot of the target under his breath to an audience of other workplace bullies so that the target cannot hear what is said but the other workplace bullies can and the ensuing laughter lets the target know that he has just been insulted without actually knowing what was said. As for the intent of insulting other human beings, either indirectly or directly, I really have no idea because I simply don't have it in me. Although it's been done to me ad nauseum by hundreds, not dozens, no, that number is not an exaggeration, of people both inside and outside of the workplace for decades, I've never been able to fully understand it because I don't have that inclination or impulse. I can only imagine it stems from the overall intent of almost all workplace bullying. Workplace bullies need to put down another person in order to feel good about themselves. In fact, hurting other people is the only way workplace bullies can feel good about themselves 
or feel good, period. It gives them a feeling of power, domination, and control over another person because they themselves are fundamentally powerless people with no self-control and they and their lives are out of control. Spiritually healthy people do not compare themselves to other people, but workplace bullies are spiritually ignorant, so putting down other people makes them look good by comparison. Workplace bullies need to feel good because they don't feel good. Insults, like almost all workplace bullying techniques, are a form of self-medication for the anxiety or overwhelming negative emotion that the workplace bully feels in the presence of the target for whatever reason. You can see how happy insulting other people makes workplace bullies feel. After they deliver insults, they look overwhelmed with glee and a sense of relief as though they've just taken a massive dump. All of that is just speculation on my part, but one thing I do know about workplace bullies is they are master projectors. So every word of every insult that comes out of their mouths is absolutely nothing more than a projection of how they really feel about themselves. Another thing I do know about insults in the workplace is that, like almost all workplace bullying techniques, workplace bullies think this behavior is totally normal. Workplace bullying, again, is subtle, indirect, and passive-aggressive so that the bullies cannot be called on their behavior. After insulting you, workplace bullies come back as though nothing has happened and everything's fine. After insulting you, some workplace bullies may go so far as to expect a friendship outside the workplace and, yes, even a sexual relationship which leads you only to speculate just how crap their relationships must be. As targets of workplace bullying, we tolerate and endure the bullying in the workplace because we need a paycheck. I don't know about you, but I don't tolerate bullying behaviors in my personal life. Workplace bullies think their behavior is normal because it's all they've ever known and they've never known things to be different. As with all workplace bullying, insults only expose the workplace bully's own toxic, maladaptive, and dysfunctional families of origin and the complete absence of healthy relationships in their lives. So that's an introduction to the workplace bullying technique of insults. To read more in detail, I've written an essay on workplace bullying. It's on my website and that information is in the description. I do these videos not to get subscribers, although that would be nice, but instead to create a forum where targets of workplace bullying can share their stories and experiences in a kind of support group. To know, number one, you're not crazy. Workplace bullying is real and your feelings are perfectly valid and justified. And number two, you're not alone. There are unfortunately countless others who have experienced the same thing. So I look forward to reading your comments and I promise to try to respond to each one. Take care.